So take an onion, chop your onion in half and remove the skins. And we want to dice it up pretty fine, but not super fine. We do want the sauce to have a nice bit of texture. Next, take a saucepan or a Dutch oven, pop it on a medium heat, add a nice splash of olive oil, and then chuck in your onion. Season the onion with sea salt and black pepper. Give it a good stir through, and we want to sweat the onion down until it's nice and soft. While the onion is sweating off, we want to prepare our garlic. So take a few few cloves, smash them with the back of a knife, remove the skins and we also want to dice up the garlic pretty fine. At this point the onions will be getting nice and soft so chuck in your garlic, give it a stir and we want to sweat down the garlic with the onions. Once they're both getting nice and soft we want some tomato paste. So chuck in a nice dollop of your tomato paste and be sure to roast this off for a few minutes before going in with your tin tomatoes. And next our tin tomatoes. So chuck in the tomatoes, add a pinch of sea salt and black pepper and give them a good stir through. And we want to cook out our sauce for a good 20 to 30 minutes at least. We want to reduce it down so it's nice and thick and rich. Next, our meatballs. So take a nice large mixing bowl and we want to chuck in our beef mints. Chuck your beef mints into the bowl and next you want to take a slice of white bread, chuck your white bread into a bowl and pour over some full fat milk. Soak the bread in the milk for a couple of moments and then squeeze out the excess. Chuck your bread into the beef mints. This will keep the meatballs nice and light. Add a pinch of sea salt and black pepper and then spend a few minutes mashing up your bread with your beef mints. Don't completely pulverize it, but get it nicely mixed up evenly. Then you want to take a plate or a chopping board, give it a nice light dusting with some flour, and then one at a time start forming your meatballs. So take a pinch of meat and lightly roll them out in your hands. We want them to be about the size of golf balls. So roll them out gently, one at a time, and then drop them into the flour and roll them around so they've got a nice light dusting of the flour. This will stop them sticking and help them to brown off when we cook them in the oil. Once you have all your meatballs, we want to shallow fry these in some olive oil. So take a frying pan, add a nice generous glug of your olive oil, turn the heat up medium to high, and then drop in your meatballs. Once your meatballs are in the pan, give them a shake, move them around, and we want to get them beautifully caramelized and golden brown before they go in the sauce. So brown off your meatballs, and we want to chuck those into our Pomodoro sauce. So very quickly guys, if you could just hit that subscribe button for me and give the video a like if you're enjoying it. Once your meatballs are in your Pomodoro, give them a good stir through and then you can turn off the heat. Next, take your bread of choice. Here I'm using a baguette and we want to chop it in half, leaving a hinge so that it helps to hold all the ingredients without them all falling out and getting really messy. And the first layer of our sandwich is going to be some Italian salami. So add a nice layer of your salami and the next layer is going to be some lovely mozzarella cheese. So tear off your mozzarella and layer that on top of your salami. Then some basil, remove your basil leaves from the stalks no need to dice them up, just chuck them in whole. So add a nice layer of your basil leaves and then the meatballs. So chuck in a nice generous amount of your meatballs and then drizzle over some of that thick, delicious Pomodoro sauce. And being an Italian sandwich, we need some Parmigiano Reggiano. So take your aged Parmesan, and I like to grate this into a bowl, and then just sprinkle over your Parmesan by hand. Be nice and generous. For the full recipe, sign up to my newsletter with the link in the description below. And there we have a beautiful version of a meatball marinara sub.